There is something about abandoned daycares and preschools that unlocks those core memories deep in our brain that is so comforting and nostalgic. We can all remember the old days as a child where everything seemed carefree and the world around us was like a dreamy fog. All the toys and games we find along our exploration bring back those feelings of happiness and innocence that we all long to feel again as we've grown older and have experienced the real world as adults. This abandoned daycare that we are exploring today is so unique, it even has a fake village inside that reminds us of a place like Disney World. You can imagine the children that used to attend here probably felt like they entered a different world when they played and learned here. This daycare was shuttered after the building it is within was declared condemned. They were struggling to stay in business ever since the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020. Now let's start our full in-depth tour of this abandoned daycare and relive the feelings of being a kid exploring the world around us. What's up guys, today we're exploring this huge abandoned preschool. Now this place hasn't been closed long, but it's going. Yeah, <laughs> so it's yeah, its way out. It's huge inside, so we're gonna see what we can find. Yeah, I'm excited. And we're gonna show you everything, so let's get right into it. All right, so I think we're starting in one of the classrooms. The layout's kind of weird here, so we don't know exactly what room is for what, but this is one big room. So this must have been some sort of classroom and everything is left behind, everything. So this is gonna be a really fun and cool explore. Let's take a look at what we got in here. They had a lot of fun in here, didn't they? They got a nice like- That's cool. Basketball thing. Outside you got a playground, you can see from outside the window. We'll end up there though, we'll do that last. Um, but yeah, this school has pretty much everything you yeah. can imagine. What we're gonna show you once we go into the middle, that's the craziest part. So that's gonna be cool. I don't know why, I guess they stored the chairs up here and then just kind of like never yeah, came Yeah, for more back. space. Just left it there. Still got these baby gates up everywhere for the kids. All right, so this part seems like we got a lot of stuff over separated from this side. I don't really know why they separated it, but maybe this was like a little classroom. And they got one of those cool tables for the infants. I wonder if this was for classroom purposes or just feeding purposes. Probably feeding. Or what it was for. But yeah, more games, a high chair, some Dr. Seuss stuff. You got a microwave and a sink. And some more information. Well, it says kitchen and gym area. So uh, maybe it was an eating area. They had a whole intercom throughout the place too. If you wanted to talk to people in different rooms, which is pretty, pretty cool. But let's go look in this like, I don't know what this is over here. This like this closet thing. This just seems to be like work stuff. There's nothing in here besides yeah, like junk. Junk. Yeah, boxes, tools. I guess this is where they stored all that, or at least they did it when it closed. They put it all here. So I guess that answered our question. Half kitchen, half gym. So that's, that's why cool. they got the whole basketball thing and stuff like that. Pretty cool room. It says outside play over. 3 and through 29 and under 3 to 8. I guess that's ages, but 29, that's kind of old. Maybe that doesn't mean ages. You got all the crayons still here. Boxes of Legos. This is that's cool. Carolina. Tons of Legos. Yeah, this is all Legos. I used to remember having one of these as a kid where you had like the train that went around on yeah. the table. 
I used to have one in my playroom. When my dad would come back home from work, I'd hide under it and try to like play hide and seek. <laughs> I used to love this thing. The whole top got ripped off by the kids, but I probably had a lot of fun with it. Look at these birds. Holy. Oh my God. Wow, that's why it stinks. Oh. That's really sad. So you know what probably happened? They kept flying into the plexiglass window trying to get out and yeah. they just kept falling and dying there. That's a lot of birds. Yeah, six. That's really bad. Aw. Now, as you can see, this is the front. It's, it's down a little bit, so it's not too visible. Got one of those play kitchens. And over here it says, you don't have to control your thoughts. You just have to stop letting them control you. That's actually a really good quote. Now let's go continue this way out of this room. Looks like they just got like loose games in here everywhere. Bowling you got pins. Like, bowling pins. Drop disc game. Frisbees. Just typical Frisbees. I don't say the name of this place on it. And books. A cute little TV. On here it says, ask a teacher first, please. It's actually a really fun game, this one. Except on the iPhone. <laughs> you have to move them yeah. and get them through. That's addicting. Let's see here. That says summer campus games and toys only. I guess they had a summer program here too. Let's go to this awesome part over here. There are peanut and egg free facility. And this says, please give me hugs and kisses outside the classroom door and allow me to enter the classroom and place my belongings independently. I guess all the kids would like rush up and try to give their teacher kisses. That's kind of cute. But guys, look at this. This is the coolest part like a whole little fake village inside this daycare school, whatever this is, a mixture of the two. This is crazy. This is like a little Disney World looking. Yeah, I can't believe this is abandoned. Spot. I mean, you got the skylights for like natural light in here. They really went all out with like little windows and 
<laughs> that is so freaking cool. Look at it from this way. I feel like this is the better wow. angle. That's cool. You got even a little balcony up there. Yeah. That is so amazing. Imagine the work and the detail that they put into this to like build yeah, this thing. Just for it to go abandoned. Yeah. And you know, we'll do our research. If we know anything about what's gonna happen to it or what has happened to it, we already placed it in the intro. Now, obviously so. it hasn't been abandoned for long, but as you may know already, and as we mentioned a million times, before the vandalism and the scrapping and whatnot, all the places we visit, no matter how decayed the place is, it once looked like this. We just tend to get to these places early. So yeah, it's not, it's not gonna last long. The outside is gated. It's, as of now, it's been condemned. Nobody has been inside. So this place is pretty cool and I unique. I why though. Yeah, we'll like find out. Like the condemned out. part, because I mean, it seems structurally okay, but there has to be something that we Probably haven't the seen building. yet that structurally, and maybe downstairs, who knows? Yeah. There's multiple floors here. But this, I mean, they really made sure the vaulted ceilings made it look like a real- Villa. Fake <laughs> village. You even got some backpacks still hanging up on the wall. Mia with her Peppa Pig bag. Paw and Patrol. The Paw Patrol. Yeah. I think there's still stuff inside too. Oh yeah, goodness. look at that. A little notebook. Aww. Aww. Hmm. That's sad, that's all left behind. I wonder why they would leave it like that. Like, get back for the kids. <laughs> So let's take a look at some of the rooms around. There's still so much more to see. There's a lot of cool rooms. There's even a room with a ball pit. So we'll get to that. But let's check it out one by one and see what's going on. See what toys and fun stuff we can find. Let's take a look, I guess, at this room, right? Huh. Wow. I guess a playroom? We got Babies, baby dolls. <laughs> and they have a little kitchen here, so I wonder. Probably for their snacks. Yeah, like, oh, actually it says some stuff here. So like, it's showing like kids with allergies. These kids can't have this, this and this. And of course you got a hand washing thing. Who, who doesn't have a hand washing thing after COVID? And this actually explains the different times of the day, what they do. Drop off the children, snack time, circle time, recess, structured play, lunch, they get a nap. Story time, snack time, again story time, recess, recess, free play. They got a lot of free play. <laughs> that must have been nice. Well, that's pretty cool. I mean, so then yeah, this has to be like where they would get like snacks prepared for the kids. 
This says Todds and Twuds. That's, I don't know what that means. I guess, uh, I don't know. It just, it's, it explains about like wiping down door handles and straightening out cubbies, whatever. But I don't know what that top thing means. And then this says intercom system for different areas. You got stuff about behavior and reinforcement and um, this little magnet still is going with the temperature. It's 54. Oh, kind of chilly. I wonder if anything's even in here. It's, yep. Twad snacks. <laughs> we got some goldfish, guys. Oh, it stinks. Yeah. Why are goldfish in the fridge? I do not know. It's probably this. There's liquid in here. It's a sippy cup. So I guess some snacks are still left behind. Pretty cool. I guess let's go around this way and take a look. But this must have been one of their activity centers. With all their books. A lot of typical stuff on the walls you'd see, shapes. See like the baby, what do they call these things? Like to watch the kids? Uh, well, yeah, like a camera, so baby monitors, yeah. yeah. I guess we'll go past the front desk at one point. We'll see if there's like an area where they watched all the children in different areas. Some birthdays. Well, we got some dates here. 2020, 20, 2019, 2018. I have a weird feeling, but like I said, we would have already said in the beginning, I have a weird feeling it was a COVID closure. Yeah, probably. I mean, more than half of all the daycares and uh, child schools. care schools, they all went down from COVID. It is actually a really, really big problem. A lot of people still have trouble finding places to take care of their kids. So that's totally probably what's the case here, but I don't know. Looks like they got the cots that they take their naps on. So Jacob, Zoe, Riley, Jackson, King Stu, and Ferris. That's cool that they got like a little cot to sleep on. Why do I feel like, I mean, not that I would remember being a kid and like taking nap time, but I feel like I didn't get nap time as a kid. I don't remember doing nap time. Well, if you was in a daycare. Yeah. Probably did. <laughs> I think I only went to preschool. Yeah. I've, I've, I went straight from kindergarten and up. Yeah, true. I've never been in any of this. Yeah, so I guess we'll never know. We'll never remember anyway. More hand washing. Nothing in here. And we oh, got a little... I almost tripped over this thing. Oh, we're <laughs> like double the size, so it's weird to walk past it. You got a I can go potty area. <laughs> Saying, you know, walk to the potty, pull your pants down, sit on the potty, go to the bathroom. Wipe with paper. That's so cool. Flush and stuff with their seat. A little step stool for the sink. Let me see something. Water still runs? Well, it did for a second. A little. Obviously, the power doesn't work. If you're hearing a there's beeping a here and there, <laughs> there's a leak at my quiet. It's a fire alarm. We got some clothes here. Varys's clothes, Jacob's clothes, Mia's clothes with the comb. Everybody had their own little cubby, I guess, with their own little sections, the little blankie and stuff. So I guess when this closed down, the parents didn't come back and get their stuff, which is interesting. I wonder why that happened. I mean, that type of stuff isn't worth coming back for, especially I during COVID. So. Yeah, you're right. If it was COVID, they probably didn't want to yeah. risk it. I used to love these things. They're always in like the doctor's waiting rooms. Yeah. Cute little area. They try, I like how they like tried theming out all the rooms and making them really kid friendly. You got those things. You put the shapes with the shape. All sorts of trucks. Yeah. Good old, is this Thomas? Isn't Thomas supposed to be blue? It's a bootleg one or his friend. Oh yeah, he does have friends. So this is Thomas's friend. Cute little stuff in here. Little Disney toys. And one of those carpets where you can go vroom, vroom. All that good stuff. 
Is there anything here? Doesn't look like oh. we can check. Pretty cool though. I like this room. So much nostalgia. Anything to do with childhood is nostalgic. And that clock is still going. And it's accurate. It is 11.19 right now. Early in the morning. That's cute, her name's on it. Ice cream. All right, I guess maybe we'll hug this wall, finish off this wall, and then we'll yeah. go this way and go toward the ball pit. I can't get enough of this room though. This is so cool. So trippy. Yeah, that's the front desk. We'll get back to that though. Let's check out this room. Looks like all the rooms were equipped with a fridge and stuff. I mean, that makes sense because you have different age groups, I think, in different rooms. Yeah. And you probably don't, like, you know, combine them. But I guess it's going to be a little similar. We got a bunch of toys here. Who remembers any of these toys? Not that they're probably old. None of these are old to me. Yeah, I don't think they're that old. It's cute with, like, the phone on it. Interesting. Got a cute little table. And then that's a way out, which we're not gonna go that way. This says Happy Easter. Maybe they went abandoned sometime in the spring, that means maybe. So I feel like we'd see more Christmas stuff if it was the end of the year and stuff like that. A lot more toys, toys, toys. This place is freaking filled with toys. Got a crib and a high chair to feed them and another bathroom with- Same setup? Like, kind of, but it's like the soft cushiony seat. Cool. That's cute, that little basketball hoop. So many toys. You can look forever at all the toys. It's pretty cute though. Oh, still works. <laughs> That's funny. Do it again. Oh. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> pretty cool. All right, let's go see some more. Oh, wait, look. 
Oh, it's a picture. Got a picture of kids. That's probably one of the workers. That's cool to see. Go to the little dark area. Just can't believe like how cool this thing is. It's so cool. So unique. I don't think I've ever seen a place this cool and this clean. I wonder if those doors actually function up there. I just realized that. Probably. Wow. We got a bunch of like baby wipes and stuff over here. Probably, they would probably take a nap in this hallway. Like all the little kids like lined up. Imagine. <laughs> yeah. Time to go to bed in the village. And here's a dark room. This one looks more of like a classroom. So, let's see. Yeah. It's a bunch of more toys in here, of course. Over here is a whole like basket of rubber duckies. Rubber duckies. Then you got ants in the pants. Barrel twist with all the little monkeys. Your little um, height poster. It only goes up to four feet, so you can imagine how short these kids were. <laughs> Some more puzzles and whatnot. It's pretty cool. Wow, they have a big restroom right here. I wish For the, the lights were. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> probably. Got two toilets. With both, no door? Nope, they're both blocked off by a wall. I remember in kindergarten, my bathroom was just like this. No door, and it was it was more of toilets, but back to back, just right next to each other. Is it because the instructors are usually like helping the kids probably the bathroom? Yeah. That they don't need privacy yeah. doors? Probably. Huh. Interesting. Wow. I don't know where to start. Right or left? Which way shall we go? <sighs> There's probably, a lot. I don't probably know. Probably left. Let's start with the left. This is probably where like they would store. Looks like clothes, um, blankets. Let's see, what's this? Oh, little pants and underwears. Aww. We got a closet full of things here. Is this gumballs? Why would you give little kids gumballs? <laughs> That's funny. Yes, this is their little snack. That's they're the hard to chew, even old like me being older. Yeah. Got some bubbles. Brand new. So, alphabet beads. Bunch of stuff. Got some more snacks like Ritz. Let's look for a date. It might take us a few seconds or whatnot because I don't know. Oh, right here. 2023. <laughs> okay. 
I mean, they usually last like two years. Yeah, exactly. Probably got in 22. Yeah. Uh, I got some Play-Doh. Not so fresh. And in this closet, what do we have in this closet? Just random stuff. I see like cotton balls, worksheets, pre-K. I guess this was their pre-K class. Just letters and stuff. Got their little board here. So they'll probably all be sitting on the floor right here watching the teacher. Got some notebooks, they're brand new. And again, a bunch of toys just scattered everywhere. Got some old work from the kids here. Learning how to write your oh. letters. Oh yeah, those little white things. Yeah, I remember those. We got some crayons on the bottom, chalk, stencils, coloring pages, more crayons. The stuff you would see at a daycare. Well, preschool. <laughs> and on this side, just more classroom space. Of course, more toys. Just look like Mr. Potato Head and stuff over here. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mr. Potato Head. Oh, oh. Dropping his arms. There's a picture of him right here. Potato Head. I guess they had like pictures of what toys were in certain sections so they could learn like how to put yeah. things back yeah. and where things were. Some more toys. Don't know what these toys are. These are just really light plastic toys. I guess they had Barbies or some sort of like dolls there. Little chairs. <laughs> They're so low to the ground. Still snacks on that thing right there. Where? Oh yeah, look, there's the Ritz. Good eye. Yeah. And cereal bars. Yeah. Got like your little pointer stick. <laughs> and what's in here? I don't know what this thing is. That's like a, um, I safety think it's a thing? safety thing. Oh, oh, it leads right back to the other room. It's a bunch of doors leading everywhere in here. And behind me, I got some board games, some puzzles. Cool. Some more blocks. A bunch of maps. Look, some handprints. These are probably like the class, the kids in this certain class that did that. That's cool. And a bunch of more stuff. There are art supplies and whatnot. I like this. Of course, some more cots. A little dollhouse. This is a cool place. <laughs> Cute maps. Yeah. It's crazy how much is still here. Yeah, I, I can't believe this. Especially with how like the outside looks. It's insane.
Okay, let's see what else we can find. Let's cut through the restroom. And I'm pretty sure these closets were just used for like um, mops and stuff, like storage. But we can check this one out real quick. Yeah, there's a bunch of paperwork and stuff. And this one is another restroom, probably for the adults, like the employees. And it's really Please do not handicap. kick the handle with your foot. That's literally what I do in every restroom. <laughs> I'm not judging that. <laughs> I don't know. And here we got some closet space where they hang their coats and backpacks. Still has some names up here. Dylan. Francesca. Jonah. I do not know how to say that one. Chigona. Mackenzie. Lukav. Mercedes and... I don't know how to say that one. <laughs> Messiahs. 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 We have a little water fountain here. Now the lines were cut, so it's obviously not going to work. Yeah. These baby wipes right here are dated from 2022, so. That's maybe it wasn't yeah. a COVID failure. Maybe it was something else. Yeah. Looks like some more storage over here, but let's go right into this one. Now this was probably like the kitchen for the employees. Got a bunch of like quotes on the wall, an old school flat screen TV in front of a flat screen TV. <laughs> <laughs> now let's check this fridge. Wait, before so, there's a picture of a baby here. I think there's like a letter saying thank you to the people who work here or something. Here for the kind words and wishes. That's cool. Probably one of the employees like had a baby so they could thank you letter for all like the gifts they probably gave them. Whew, nothing in here, but it sure does look nasty. Yeah. Just one little baby spoon. Oh, it stinks. Another restroom. How many restrooms are in this place? A million. That's insane. Got your little sink here. Yeah, it's all teachers. Please empty the K-cups from the coffee maker. So yeah, this was their little snack area. Break room. Yeah, break room. Posters. It's a weird placement for a flat screen. Like down a hallway like this. Probably would like play advertisements and stuff. Yeah. Like their pic like pictures. And here's a food storage, I think. That's what I'm seeing right now, but it says books, books, books. So I'm a little confused, but I see a lot of food. Got your fruits. Jugs of hand sanitizer. Some paint, spray paint, light bulbs, a bunch of work stuff. More and more work stuff. Some more little chairs. Look at this. Is this like a lemonade stand? Yeah. <laughs> That's Aww. cool. Yeah. Probably sold lemonade like outside. That's cute. Yeah. I used to love when we were kids and we'd do like the fake towns in yeah. school, like and like have fake businesses. Yeah, that's so cool. The little um, Christmas ornaments. Not much back here. And then this leads to an exit. And right back around. So I think we could cut through here, right? I think it'll you lead us to. You wanna go by the first the reception desk? Yeah. Should we? Let's just go back through there. Yeah. It's a little tight. So then you know you don't miss anything. Yeah. This place is cool though. Yeah, it's this supply room right here. Yep, there you go. If you need supplies. Ask Karen or Angela. Oh, don't trip. Back this way. I can't believe how clean this place is. No, we're not the first nor the last to visit this place. 
So hopefully it stays in good condition. Storage closets. This way. Here's another height chart, well sticker. And we have the front desk. Got some more canned fruit. Some paperwork. It's the same paperwork you showed earlier. Sign-in sheets. Yeah. And let's go behind the desk. Here's a ran down paper with all your names and stuff. Parents' names. That's cool. What are these things? Just no fluffs. No. I, don't know. <laughs> I don't know what they would be used for. The normal stuff you would see in a at a front desk. Like a little laptop. Saying some Chrome. Chromebook. Let's see if it works. Probably not. Nope. It's dead. Need some charging. It's probably workable, you know. Yeah. I think this is the charger right here. Wouldn't be surprised if somebody takes it. But those are outdated. Macs are the wave. <laughs> Chromebooks don't do much. Yeah, they, they're slow. They're not compatible usually, with yeah. a lot of things. They're usually used like in schools. Christmas card. Probably like family members or kids that were here. Some more supplies and whatnot. Oh, bus schedules. So they had bus rides here and back and forth. That's cool. This must have been the main office for whoever was in charge of this place. I don't know what to call them. What manager? Principal? Principal? <laughs> I, I don't really know. That's a small monitor. monitor. Got two of them in here. Bunch of office supplies again. Little dog. Little. <laughs> That's cute. Yeah. So this was the person named Angela. Miss Angela. It's like a heart shaped rock. She must have been the main lady. Yeah. And then Miss Karen. So I guess they shared this office. Aww. So two people ran the show in here. Calendar. Oh, yeah. There you go. We got a year. <laughs> 2022. Now, obviously, we put a lot of information in the beginning, but we explore these places as if we don't, we've don't. we never seen it. So we come in these places not knowing what we're going to see. That's the whole point of exploring. Well, for us. So yeah, 2022. That's cool. September. We try to do our research after yeah. the fact and yeah. keep everything raw. And we don't want to see pictures real. of, you know, we don't want to like find Google pictures of this place before exploring it. We want to be shocked and surprised of what to find in here. So yeah, that's our definition of exploring places. But look, more, some more candy. No, obviously, I don't think they would give these to the kids. It's probably for them. Coffee. Ew. <laughs> Disgusting. Coffee? Yeah, flavored candy? candy. I don't know what these things are. Probably like, I don't know, office stuff. Kids' face masks. Ah, masks. there you go. COVID related stuff right here. Yeah. Probably adult face mask. A bunch of them. Full They're just packs. going to waste. Yeah. So they kept clean during the outbreak. I got some pictures in here, look. 2020, 2018, 2019. Mm. Probably their class. Yeah. That's cool. So there was three people. I really hope like, well, we know how these, you know, we know what happens to these places. They end up getting demolished or something and the people, they don't get to come back for their belongings. No. Which is sad. So all of this is just going to go to waste. Oh, look, their lunch schedule. I didn't see this. So they ate between 11 and 11.30. 11 11.30 to 12 and 12.30. Here's an old flashlight. Oh, a little bit. Not much. Hey, we're gonna cut this way. And again, this is another cool room. Here's another year, 2022. Oh. This is cool. This is probably the main door. Yeah, there's a bunch of doors, but this is definitely the main door. 
Oh, let's say something about COVID. Look, we are screening carefully for COVID-19. So there you go. You are right in the beginning. This place definitely closed probably right after COVID. Like even if it was in 2022, a lot of places, they couldn't keep up even after. They lost so much. They probably tried and then it yeah, just exactly. didn't work out, you know? Exactly. They tried and their funds just depleted and they got so hurt by exactly. COVID. So this way or this way? We could start off with the Start off with coolest, the cool room. Yeah, the cool room. Now, look at this. <laughs> just imagine being a two feet kid playing in this room. Another cute little fake town. This is so cool. A ball pit. It's probably not that deep, but it will be deep for toddlers. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's about up to my ankles. There's a slide. That's cool. Look at that. Look how deep that goes. It kind of looks like a backroom thing, like it's coming out of like yeah. nowhere. That's cool. I wonder what they um based this theme off of. If it's just random, it's probably just random. But the one over there, they probably based it off of something. This is so cool. I don't know how many times I have to say it, but visiting places like this just excites us like a lot <laughs> oh yeah a bunch of little rocking horses so nostalgic and cool and yeah liminal spacey and let's climb right over here and see the back we'll show them the back because we saw it from that side but ugh. got it <laughs> wow this is watch your head up here Look, you want to see some I can dust? I stand, you can't. You want to see some dust and cobwebs? There you go. It's a bunch. For those who've always questioned yeah. it. Yeah, this is pretty. Oh this my is gosh. Short I'm, I'm walking fine. That's too funny. I'm so short, guys. Poor Zach. <laughs> oh man, that didn't sound right. No, it's definitely like our weight is more yeah. than that of a child. You want to go down the slide? Windows. You can go down the slide. I can't. Okay, hold it for me. Yeah. And then I'll meet you on the other I'm side. I'm too tall for this, man. All right, you ready? Yeah, this width is like... <laughs> hold on, let me go up here. Yay! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it actually sent me flying. That Wait, is funny, man. Thought. Okay, I'll meet you down there. I, I could probably get through. Do it. It's just gonna squeeze your butt with the whip. Oh my God, it's so tight. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can't believe that made me fall. Oh, turn these balls. <laughs> wow. That's a short slide and I fell like See right into it. See how fast it went? Yeah. It's probably because of curves. See, I clean up after. Wow. Just like the kiss. Yeah. Cool though. <laughs> that is awesome to have. Yeah. I would have loved that if I went here. I kind of wish I did. Yeah. Man. That's so cool. So we were just taking pictures and I just realized that in here. Let me turn on my light. There's cute little things in here. A little stove and a sink. My chair, bathtub, that's cute. Obviously I'm kneeling to be in here. I don't know if you can see, but yeah, obviously for, for children, but it's so cute. And in here, Empty, but you got a little desk thing. And on this side, you got a little, I guess, beauty chair. 
in a regular chair. I'm like crawling around to get into these things. And in here, those like spinny things that you sit on and spin yourself. That's so cute. This room is so cool. Right, let's see what's in this closet or whatever this thing is. Bathroom. Another bathroom. Like the 25th bathroom or something? That's insane. I don't think they have that many kids and people in here. Whew. Here's another like age limit thing. Three to 10 or under three to eight. Probably the amount of kids that were able to play in here. So out of breath. I don't know why that thing is so little. <laughs> Another classroom space. Little kitchen set up. And over here we got letters and numbers and shapes, colors, months, days of the week. All the things you would learn as a kid. Let me guess. Another bathroom. Let's see. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm not even going close as I knew. Yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling. That's insane. Crayons of the same stuff you would find at a daycare. Now look at this old radio. It's probably the oldest thing in here. CDs. Yeah. Still has a CD like classic baby. Probably baby Mozart. Sleeping. Yeah. I used to love that thing. I would just stare at it and it would be like. So like funny. penguins walking or like yeah. the weirdest stuff on the screen. This is cool. Toys. Look at that huge crayon full of blocks. Oh wow. I'll come over there. Yeah. I guess this would have said preschool or something. It would have said, yeah, like class or yeah. whatever. Look at this big old crayon. It's not been opened yet. Or maybe it was, I don't know. It's probably taller than the kids. And I, did we film this? All the classrooms look alike. We did not film this. Okay, time. but yeah, the same old stuff. Mr. Potato Head. Blocks, toys, and toys, and toys. Over here, this blanket. This is the blanket they give you at a hospital. Oh, for yeah, babies. Right. It's literally the same exact blanket. They never changed this blanket. Three's room yeah. for three year olds. <laughs> I remember that blanket. I have a lot of siblings, so I've seen it a lot. Um, I got a bunch of books. Let's see what type of books they have here. Saturday, Sancocho. Probably some like Spanish okay. book. Got some eggs. Yeah. Remember Rand. the scholastic book fairs in school? Yes, yes. I hated them. I love them. I would like never have money for them. So like it was oh. like a flat. Everyone who went there would like books. flex. Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> Little no. pencils and stuff. They would like flex <laughs> on the kids like me that didn't have money for it. I'd have like, like what, like $10 yeah. and have to like spread out. They will come out back with like... the coolest Goosebumps books and stuff. <laughs> and all I can afford is like a pencil or an eraser. <laughs> like, for... But it's, it's, it's okay. It's okay. They should, they should give every kid like yeah. a, a certain amount. They it's like can school spend money or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Like they also had this other thing, like for holidays, like they would come in and like, they'll sell like Valentine's day stuff or mother mother's day stuff, like for kids to buy for their parents and whatnot. And that was another thing for me. So no, oh. <laughs> 
But yeah, look, we got blocks, a bunch of toys and crayons. Almost the same stuff in every room. I wonder how many kids they had in here at once. I see a lot of things like saying camp, so maybe they hosted a camp in here too. Probably did it on the off, like, you know, yeah, summer. Season, they needed like to do something, stuff, yeah. so. So we got like a family tree over here of all the students. And I guess the teacher up here. It's Justine, Sophie, Riley, Skylar, Luke, Hunter, Kendra. So far, this place is pretty darn cool. from the uh, other side of the reception desk. Yeah. There's one of those big bouncy balls that you can oh, bounce yeah, I on. Think I saw that, yeah. It's just weird, like these, this plastic and stuff. Yeah, that is kind of... Whatever it was used for. But yeah, I think the room you're talking about is gonna be over here to my left. Yeah. This is cool. Is this holding the door? No. Bounce. <laughs> it's, it's too tight in there, let's see. Oh, my knees. <laughs> oh. Ow. I love you, I'm sorry. My knees like cracked. <laughs> We're too old for it now. We can't do it now. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Big old ball beating us up. I could try it, but I'll probably yeah, you die. Can try here. <laughs> oh god. You're shorter than me. I'm a little bit smaller. My legs for like it. cramped up. How do you even like, I how do kids know. sit on this? Look how tall, like, it is on me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I can't even like move with it though. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to. This backpack doesn't help. <laughs> it functioned. <laughs> I'm surprised I'm not popping it though. Yeah, it's kind of right? like really. Expanding. It might have been like a universal thing for like kids and adults because it's huge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Holy man. I am out of breath once again. These little kids must have been filled with energy. <laughs> look at these, look at this table. I've never seen a table like this. You'll sit the kids in here. Wow. And probably like feed them or like, I don't know, but it's cool. It's like, so you can have a, kids in high chairs at multiple yeah, yeah, times yep. and feed them all at once. That's so cool. A little top hat. Ready to check what's in this refrigerator? One. Two, three. Oh, we got some baby foods down there. Mmm. Oh, it stinks. I'm literally holding my breath. Oh my God, it stinks. 2022. There you go, so that's definitely when they closed. Oh my God, yeah. We got a stapler that says infants. Yeah, this is definitely the infant room. And this was, we got some more dates on here. The last one is July 5th, 2022. So again, a 2022. It's getting close to almost a year. Yeah. It's. That would make sense. This place is pretty it's clean. Yeah, it's about to be nice. Give it some time and it'll be moldy, destroyed, graffiti all over. 
Or hopefully they do something with this. Yeah. Hopefully they choose. Hopefully that doesn't happen. But I don't think so. Because, like, this is not the only property that's abandoned on this property. But I don't think we can get into the other buildings. They look, like, emptied. If we do, we'll make a separate video yeah. out of it and let you yeah, guys know. Yeah, make sure to stay tuned for that. I got some baby cribs over here. Yeah, I remember my baby crib, like it went through a whole family. We all used the same crib. It was like this big white crib. Really? <laughs> it went through every sibling of mine. That's just cute. too funny. Is this a mirror? Oh. <laughs> Plexiglass. <laughs> I'm tripping. Oh man. We got another kitchen set up over here. Looks more like empty than the other ones we've seen. Yeah, I think this was the last room, right? right? We'll double check right now. We'll see if there's we missed anything. If not, we will be seeing you guys outside. Yeah, we got to check out that playground. It's not the that playground. big, but we got to show you guys. So Yeah, so either we're about to be outside or we're about to be in another room. Yes. Sounds good. We'll see you there. Started raining. All right, yeah, it's raining, but we're outside. We're going to take a look now at this uh, playground and see what it looks like. They must have had like a fenced in little picnic no, type this, area. This is wide open. Yes, no wide breaking open. in. It's <laughs> cute. And we're here. Nice. This is a cute little playground. Looks like they took the swings off. But you got your hula hoops basketball net and even a second one on the wall there. I guess this is their main area. I could see just one little kitty picnic table over in that section. Maybe they had more toys. But I think that this is the main playground area. This is another fenced in area, but it doesn't seem to be important. You could just see hopscotch on the floor. Yeah, probably like wheel wheelchair and accessible. Pools. Yeah. That's cool. Pretty cool. Yeah. This place is awesome. I wish I went here. Yeah. This is kind of small though for like the size of the preschool itself. Yeah, it is pretty small, but I guess they had a lot going on inside, so yeah. they didn't like need to. But yeah, pretty awesome. This is definitely a bird's nest that like it fell, fell. Or blew away from somewhere. I just was like, oh my God, is there like eggs in there? But no, there's nothing in there. Aw. Awesome. There's a little rocket ship here. Looks like someone painted on it. That's cute though. Yeah. I like it. It used to say United States, you know, it looked like a oh, yeah, it did. rocket, but somebody ruined it. I would get on it if it wasn't raining. <laughs> but it's raining. That's cool. It looks old. It's not happening. Yeah, this is the other side of the playground. Awesome. All right, guys, that's it. We yeah. covered it all. This place was amazing. I think it was so cool how they one had the themed stuff. Yeah, definitely one of the best. If you haven't already seen our other daycare video, definitely check that out. That one's really cool yeah. too, but this one is just so different and so unique. We loved it. So of course, make sure to check us out on all of our social media platforms for all of our pictures and other yep. videos. Our Instagrams are Oxidize93, RealZek, and our combined page, Urbax Vibes. 
Also check us out on Facebook at Urbax Vibes and on TikTok we're Oxidize93 and Real Zek. Make sure to subscribe and like if you haven't already and we'll see you on the next explore.